Well, Bill, you know, this is, it, it's tough to watch anything like that. And I have friends at both of those companies that are working on this. Uh, and, it, and, you know, that touches me pretty closely. Uh, a couple of them are, are test pilots that I've worked with in the past. And I've gotten to know pretty well. So uh, for us personally, it's always tough to see that sort of thing. The great part about this industry is uh, it will be better at the end for both of these mistakes or these mishaps, I'll say. And, uh, and we'll pull through. Everybody right now is already pulled together. And the, the research is going on. The investigations are ongoing. And we'll figure out what happened. And if it's the correct time, we'll fly again, both of these vehicles. And, uh, and if they determine that they can't, then we'll look for other options down the road. But I definitely think this, you know, this, is, this is a setback that happens in this industry. And there will be recovery, there will be healing, and then there will be uh, success down the road. Well, anytime humans try to contain the amount of energy that's required to send stuff into orbit, you know, every once in a while, a little bit of that is going to escape and we're going to have an accident. And uh, this is never going to be a perfectly safe environment, uh, especially not in the launch and landing industry. And uh, but every time you get in your car and you drive down the highway, there's always a chance or get in an airplane or even just uh, a thunderstorm passes by and, and knocks a tree over. So uh, that's part of life. And uh, and there's always risk with everything we do. And to me, sometimes the risk is definitely worth the reward. And up here, the reward, at least to me, is huge. So it's worth it.